Hi guys, Richie Bob here with a very special Sims Free Play video. Of course, it's the Sims Free Play's 10th anniversary, 10th birthday, 10 years of the Sims Free Play. This is such an amazing milestone for them, so congratulations. Round of applause. Unheard of in this space and just so epic. And thank you so much to Machira for setting up this collaboration where a ton of us Simmers are coming together to post throughout this celebratory day. Please do check out the other videos under the hashtag 10 years sims free play. I'll put the details in the description. So in this video I wanted to go through my top 10 memories of the sims free play. Some memories of the game, memories that the sims free play has given me. It's been a very special game throughout its life to me for so many reasons so uh, it was really hard to pick but I managed to whittle it down to 10 and some of these are like real life experiences that have happened off the back of the game and some of them are in-game events and things that we've all seen through the years and things that have really stuck with me and they're not in any particular order. So I first started making free play videos. I think the first one on my main channel, which is just youtube.com forward slash RachieBob, was actually in 2012 when I look back. And back then you couldn't really put gameplay on YouTube. It was a very dodgy area where you would get flagged for copyright. So people would start second channels and that's why I had a second channel for the gameplay. So I used to just do a video talking about the update on my main channel and eventually I started posting actual footage on my second channel so it wouldn't put my first channel at risk of being taken down. And that's how that kind of came about. So Free Play was one of the early games that I started talking about alongside The Sims 3 at the time. So I have a lot of memories from things over the years and these aren't in any particular order. But the first incredibly great one for me in real life rather than in-game life was becoming a game changer which is what has now become an EA creator but originally it was game changers and it was mobile that initiated this for me it wasn't the sims 4 so the sims 4 came onto the game changer program a bit later but the sims free play led the way for those of us that created for the sims free play to become game changers and we went out to a special mobile event which was all things mobile sim city star wars like all the mobile games that were around at the time and it was basically telling us what the game changer program was about saying it's been used for some AAA games, I think Battlefield was one of them, and now they wanted to extend that to mobile because mobile was such a huge part of EA's revenue and what they do. Not only was it a memorable trip because I got to go out to San Francisco to be given this great opportunity, but it was also great because I got to meet some fellow creators. So I already knew some creators but I especially hold this trip dear in my heart because I did get to meet Charlotte from The Girl Who Games. Me and Dan from Beyond Sims met her at the airport before we got on the plane together and we just gelled straight away and I absolutely adore her so much. So I was so happy to meet her and that just makes my heart warm to think of that memory. I also met make two and a ton of other awesome people who just became like family and we were all just it was just such a nice group of people so that was just such a wholesome memory from the last 10 years that has come about because of the sims free play and i'm forever grateful to the team for inviting me on that trip and for connecting me with those beautiful friends the next memory is also a trip but they are not all trips i promise but the trips do but the trips do obviously feature as they are just such incredible memories so the next one was in 2017 and it was a trip to ea play in la LA is one of my favourite places anyway, so any opportunity to go there I jump at. And this was to go to EA Play with The Sims Free Play. It was also Sims Mobile. It was just in the early stages, so it was all about that. And there were some people that we'd met previously on that Game Changer event that were there. So we're all like a really lovely group. 
But my main little clique was me, Dan from Beyond the Sims, Luke, the Plum Bob, and Charlotte from The Girl Who Games. And we just got the opportunity to hang out, try the new things in the game, record awesome collaborations, and just let our creative juices flow whilst being surrounded by other people passionate about The Sims free play. And that was a great experience too. And a memory that often flashes back in my head and I love it. My next memory is of a pig. And this is actually in game. You guys will know the teacup pig that was introduced in the Downtown High event. It was just so cute. And I remember recording the footage of it for early access videos and just being like, oh my goodness, just finding it so cute. I think one of the main things that stands out about free play is the effort behind the animations and it goes further than you ever expect it to and it just really cutes you out. So that little teacup pig made my day and I cherish it. Another in-game memory I have is of Gangnam Style. I don't know if you guys remember when they added in the movie star professions and all those professions which was such a cool addition one of the little animations that they popped in was the sim doing gangnam style and that was another funny little thing that you could do and the sim would actually do gangnam style the dance and that just made me absolutely laugh my head off again <laughs> i love the joy the game brings in a similar sense and again with the downtown high update the cheerleader animation that's another one that stuck with me and i i just found it so funny so much so that i remember being asked by the community manager at the time if they could use my the clip of me laughing because it was just so pure <laughs> And honestly, it just brought me so much joy seeing the, that cheerleader dance and how each sim would fall in line and join in. I just found that hilarious. Next is something um, even more technical, something groundbreaking, in fact. And that is AR mode. When they added in augmented reality, it's just, I mean, it was and it is so groundbreaking to add that in to the Sims free play as an aspect of the mobile game. It was just such an unexpected push of the boundaries. And I love that they did that. And it was just so fun to get out and try it out and see what you could do and build collaboratively. And obviously it's still only on iPhone. And that was kind of part of it at the time was that the iPhone was bringing in all that augmented reality and who's going to implement this and implement that. And I was just so happy that the Sims Free Play were one of the teams that took that on board. And I was also super lucky that me and Dan from Beyond Sims were at Sims Camp at the time when it was launching and the Sims Free Play team asked us to go on a live stream to show it off with them and it was such a great experience we had a lot of fun and we had some great feedback from the community as well who enjoyed watching it and seeing how it worked we didn't make the best build in the world but it still blows my mind how you can build collaboratively and how you can make it life-size and how the doors open when the sims walk through them but not just that they open when you walk through them. It actually blows my mind. The next one is another event memory and that would be the Simmers meetup. Me and Dan from Beyond Sims got too, too many shout outs in this video. We held the Simmers meetup for three years and on the third year, the Sims free play community manager at the time, Emma, and I will say that every single community manager and every member of the team that The Sims Free Play has and have had have been the most beautiful people. Emma especially, but everyone that I've come into contact with on Free Play, it's just been the kindest, most supportive, beautiful people ever. To the point where when Emma was actually moving on from The Sims Free Play, we all literally cried. <laughs> We were in balls of tears 
because we loved her so much and still do. And you can definitely tell that they care about the game, about the community, about the creators, and that just makes such a difference. But yeah, when we had this Simmers meetup in particular, which was at Event City in Manchester, Emma came along and she did her very own Sims free play panel and brought some prizes to give away, which were some really cool posters that the sims free player team had made which were like jaws and all these kind of fun parody sims free player posters i've still got my posters safely wrapped up i really must frame them because they deserve to be hung i also just really want to keep them safe forever but it was really great to have free play involved in a sims event run by the community by me and dan and i just remember everyone being really happy with these posters and they're just so much fun another thing another memory and something that's still currently in the game that i think not everyone knows is there and it's so not necessary but i absolutely adore it is the fact that when you shake your phone your sim will throw up it's kind of sadistic but just little nuggets like that what an easter egg go make those sims bomb you do it don't feel bad you'll probably feel bad but you know we didn't put the capability in there <laughs> and i really adore that they've just left that in there next getting more recent now is a bit of a tip of the hat to the collaborations that the sims free play do i'm sorry but the sims free play get some pretty awesome collaborations more so than even the sims for themselves there are companies that the sims 4 have been trying to collaborate with for years and sims free play are just like oh yeah we've collaborated with them <laughs> Recently, they've collaborated with Funko Pop, but the one that sticks in my mind that seemed so random for the timing of Halloween, but was just so cute and so on brand with their audience was the Care Bears collaboration. Halloween 2020, such a boost to the year. And they did actually send us creators our own Care Bear, but they sent me Grumpy Bear and I was almost offended. <laughs> He's very cute and he sits in my bedroom. So I won't hold it against him. Yeah, when they put the live Care Bears in there and just implemented them into the game, I love that they do that. I think it's so cool and it just shows their power of influence to be able to get such high profile collaborations. And I'm really excited to see what they might do in the future. And my final memory, I mean, obviously I have so many memories and so, there's so many features where it pops in my head and I think, oh yeah, I remember that. It was so huge. I can remember recording videos and then playing it in my own game and oh, just so much integral stuff throughout the 10 years. But the London Christmas update that we got last year in 2020 really stands out to me because of being from the UK. I mean, I'm definitely not from London, but seeing those buildings in there that were so different from what we'd normally see in there, it was like literally being transported to a new place within the game. And it was a great story. It had great ghosts and such great animations with the Santa on the sleigh and a utilization of the spaces that they'd put in there were just so functional and full and vibrant and dynamic. And I think that's something that is so great about free plays. You're not left feeling empty playing it. You have so much to do and so much to see. And now they've added like the sim decks. It makes everything a lot clearer. And after 10 years, just everything is so bulked out and so beefy i'm super excited to see what they might do in the future because honestly now we've seen them add new things like sim springs and all that who knows what they might do and what they could add and where they could take this the fact that they've been going for 10 years could we celebrate 20 years of the sims free play that would be amazing but those are my top 10 memories please do let me know your favorite memories about the sims free play they can be anything as big as attending an event to as small as a teacup pig <laughs> the sims free play has added so much to my life and i'm sure it has to yours as well thank you so much to the sims free play team for everything that they've added everything has been so huge and important and 
There's way too much to mention in this video. I'm looking forward to hearing all your memories down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Happy birthday to The Sims Freeplay and I'll see you again soon. Bye.